Understanding. Don't shoot the messenger. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of English idioms and phrases. Today, we're exploring a phrase you might have heard in movies, books, or even in everyday conversation. Don't shoot the messenger. It's a phrase packed with history and meaning. And by the end of this video, you'll understand not just what it means, but also how to use it in your own conversations. Let's get started. The phrase, don't shoot the messenger, is used to advise someone not to blame the bearer of bad news for the news itself. It highlights an important distinction between the person who delivers a message and the message's content. The essence of this idiom is all about separating the person from the problem, acknowledging that the messenger is simply relaying information, and should not be held accountable for the nature of that information. This phrase has a rich historical context. It dates back to ancient times when messengers were sent between kings, generals, and other leaders to convey messages, often including news of defeats or other unwelcome events. In some cases, the bearer of bad news was killed as a reaction to the message. The phrase, therefore, serves as a plea for mercy on behalf of the messenger, emphasizing that they are merely delivering a message and are not the cause of the news itself. Don't shoot the messenger can be used in various scenarios, from light-hearted conversations to more serious discussions. Here are a few examples. 1. In the workplace, when delivering a decision made by higher management that might not be well received by your team. 2. Among friends, if you're relaying news that might upset your friend but is important for them to know. 3. In family settings, when sharing information that might lead to disappointment or anger, such as a change in holiday plans. It's a versatile phrase that helps to diffuse potential blame or frustration directed at the person delivering the news. We hope this exploration of don't shoot the messenger has been enlightening. Understanding the origins and applications of this phrase can add depth to your English communication skills, making you more effective and empathetic in conveying messages, especially the difficult ones. Remember, it's all about separating the news from the bearer. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language in our next video.